first one of the year for you. Yep. What is this? Dad, found a vampire. See, Dad, they're all going out of one semi. I just gotta stick it down there deep. Look at that. Does that not look beautiful? Hey, what's up guys? Nate here. Back for another Adrenaline Rush adventure. You know, the River King. What's up? Miley. Hi. And Fierce. What's up? Mighty Fierce. So today we're going on our second mushroom hunt of the year. We're gonna pick whatever we find and hopefully have something for dinner tonight. We might show you guys how to do that in this video, but Let's check out this spray. Mom got us some tick spray because the ticks have been extra bad this year. Permethrin spray. Permethrin spray. The boys got an extra day off of school. <laughs> oh yeah, the reason this is a Friday, but Fierce got a day of ISD yesterday because he got beat up and he didn't do anything. But because the kids said that Fierce was fighting with him or whatever, they both just got a day of ISD. And then River decided to take matters into his own hands this morning and beat up the kid. And the kid went and told him. So now River has three days of ISD. Suspension. Susp of, of suspension. Out of school suspension. But we didn't send Fierce to school today because he ain't going to go serve a day of ISD for getting beat up. And, and, and if the administration would have handled it right also, then I'm sure River wouldn't have done what he did. But not that I'm condoning, condoning vigilante justice or, <laughs> or getting kids beat up at school. But, I mean, that's just the kind of stuff that happens when, when administrators and, and teachers don't do their jobs well and mishandle things and anyways fierce has gotten to some little skirmishes before big brother usually doesn't jump in but the kid who did this to fierce happened to be in eighth grade and, and a big eighth grader not just a normal size grader. he's actually bigger than river and then uh he called fierce a punk ass b and so and then just beat him up in the bathroom for no reason basically and he was just he had a friend and he was way bigger than fierce so even though he's river even though he's bigger than river river just went up and started I guess did whatever he did and the kid didn't want nothing didn't want none so good job river <laughs> flex on him come on flex. <laughs> flex for your brother fierce no, I'm not yeah <laughs> we might have to cut that part out because they're lame <laughs> doesn't count if it's around the tree that i found him already found him found one got him right there yeah i'm in the lead the oh my god i got him no. there's a couple nice pretty ones oh, here no. they are guys Eight days later. One, two, one, two three, three, four. four. Look at these beauties. Look at these. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look, this guy's broke off, probably from the rain or something. Look, there's like a whole Eleven. bunch over here. Woo hoo one, two, three, four, five, six. Everybody hold seven, it. Eight. What do we do? Do we pick them? Do we leave them? And those are tiny guys. Yeah. There's freshies coming out. This is exciting, boys. I haven't seen mushrooms Watch like out. this in a while. Yeah. Wow. Let me recount. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. These are like the perfect eating ones too. Just the gills are still kind of small. They're not open. Huge. Let's see if I can find my quarter, guys. Right? Oh my gosh. Look. Look, guys. There's the quarter. This is the guy I left. I'm killing a lot. <laughs> There's a quarter. Wow. I should have. One, two, three. He's over three quarters Whoa, tall. But there was like 20 of them here, guys. And look, there's only two or three left. So does that mean there would have been even more like down in here? This is 12 days after our first mushrooms. I might have said eight, but it's 12. And look how big Mr. Guy has gotten. Y'all remember this picture right here? Quarter was right here. And those things were like this. 12 days ago. I would still call this a young morel. This thing will probably keep growing. And when, if you remember when I was here, I covered him back up with some leaves. The leaves have like blown away and gone. I don't know where it's went to. This one was the one I wasn't sure if it was gonna live and I think he was by my penny. The penny should have been right in here. We could have stepped on it and smashed it in way more. It was right in here somewhere. Oh, there it is! There it is, there's the penny. See, I left the penny kind of, there was another one like right by it, but this was the, the group that I watered. He's real similar to the one that I didn't water. He's real similar to the one I didn't water. So there you go. Found the, there's Mr. Abe. You remember him? Here, here's the quarter. Been hunting and fishing these things, loving every day in them. Comfortable, I can walk for miles. They're steel toe, puncture proof, and they're still holding up strong. So guys, 
To get you a pair of these or any other Tidewee products, go to Tidewee.com, use discount code ARA15. We'll leave the code and the product link in the description. You guys are much appreciated. Guys, look at this one right here. He's growing in a hole. I'm like an old coyote den or something. Right there. We'll chop him down in just a sec. Guys, I just found this skull of something. Sharp teeth, bro. What is this? Dad, found a vampire. That has to be like a possum, right? Looks like a miniature dog. Not a dog. I think that's a possum. Pretty sure. Let's we'll see what Dad says. What is this? Gunk have sharp teeth? Yes. Thanks. I don't know if raccoons have that sharp teeth. Plus Maybe. it's not that sharp. Their fronts would look different though. Is this yeah. It's more like a skunk. So guys, the cool thing the cool thing is to go mushroom hunting, you don't need anything. You don't even have to have a shoe. You could just be walking out if you're a real hardcore savage. But um what are some things that you prefer to have while you're mushroom hunting? Uh bag, knife. Boots. Tied wee boots. Jeans. A shirt that's not gonna rip easy. Definitely recommend jeans. Long I sleeve shirt. I like wearing hat because the cedar branches and the thorns pop you on the head and you won't get all cut up if you accidentally get your hair doesn't get tangled up, especially if you have long hair. Pocket knife and a sack. I know a lot of people cry that you gotta have those um mesh once bags. mesh bags and you know I've used them, I sometimes do, but I also have never had a problem with these. My mushrooms grow back every year, I find more than anybody, so if it matters, it doesn't matter enough to matter. Not to mention, the mesh sacks get stuck on the briar bushes and the theater trees like way worse and it, and it rips, they rip easier. These things can take a little bit of punishment and you can double bag them, they're free. So that's what I use. And it's good to look around. I like looking around elm, cedar, and cottonwood are my like three favorite trees, but also ash trees. You can find them around any tree. My least favorite tree really that I find them sometimes around, it's probably oak, but I do find them around them every once in a while. But I've even found them around willows and sycamores at certain times. So. Just where the conditions are perfect. And that's usually where the bottomland trees grow a lot of times, which is your elm, cottonwood, sycamore, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. First one. Woohoo! That's a good eating one, good eating size. I like it. I'm excited. Ready to take it home and eat them. Cut them up and fry them. River's cutting his first couple. We're so excited. We're gonna eat good tonight. There you go. There we go. First mushroom of the year for River. For me. First one of the year for you? Yep. Seriously, gonna wait for Dad? Second one of the year. Cool. Yeah. Nice, freshy. We're so scared that we're gonna step on them because they're like around everywhere. Here's one that's knocked off, Nate. That's the one that I think I was talking about. Yeah, that one. Here's his oh, first yeah. mushroom of the year. That's hanging by a yeah. Got him. We're at least gonna have enough for dinner tonight. Yeah. Very worse. We were chopping them down. Fierce is up there chopping them down. Mom's up there chopping them down. Yeah, guys, if you spot any and we missed, let us know because we'll probably be back. Stuff. What you got? I got a, a double head. header. Yeah. I had a double we'll header earlier. He just... might have just got damaged. He just got smashed. Oh no. That's all right. We'll still eat. Some fellow decided to crush this one. This one? Go ahead, I guess. But leave those other four up to your right. And there's one back behind River that's real small that we're going to probably smash. We walk there too much. Any more hidden ones? Huh? Yeah, I found like two that we I don't think we've seen. They're not, they're just down those birds. A cluster of six. See that? They're all growing out of one stem. I just they're gotta fuck right it down one, there two, deep. Three. And then look, there's one right here you don't want to Pretty, those are pretty guys. Are you gonna cut them? I'm not gonna cut them, I'm gonna fuck them. Oh, so I can get all guys. Them. Look, this guy got smashed. It's okay, he's gonna stay. <laughs> look at that, that's pretty cool. Let me see. Hold it up where I can see. Wait, I'll, I'll do them though. Point at him, the other hand. Uh, give you all a look. Nice. Here's his performance surgery on his. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna turn you off for a second. I'm gonna round up the sh if there's any strays and we'll update you on how many we got. I, now that I'm done cleaning them off, they were growing out of one stem. 
He seems dainty. Go ahead and cut him down. He's floppy like I don't let me do it. I'll cut him down. Here. He's like he's got kicked or something. So we're gonna leave this guy over here. I think he's one of the OGs. We're gonna leave this guy by Abe here. He was one of the four or whatever that was near Abe. Oh, here's one someone stomped on. Oh no. Must have been River. What? That's where he was nailed down yelling at me. No, I was nailed down Here, see if you can clean this guy off. What? Well, I'm gonna walk out of here before we start stepping on anymore. 12 days after our first find and they have grown. How big you say they're about two, three inches? Yeah. Two and a half to three inches. How much were they like? Some eight centimeters? 1.6 centimeters. So now they're probably about three centimeters. They've doubled in height, but they've like tripled in girth and stuff. All right, we're gonna keep looking here, see if we can't find some. So we went down a little bit, and mom done found her another one. Woohoo! Oh, nice little eater. Nice little eater. That's a perfect size. Ooh. I like them. We're gonna take them home and cook them. We'll do the outro when we're cooking them. So guys, every year when we're walking out from our spot, me and my older brother would always have a race. See who can get back to the truck best. Remember? Uh huh. So, me and Fierce are about to race to the truck. See who wins. He says he's not going to race me. Okay, go, Fierce. You got five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm in deep. Oh, I'm jogging. I'm just jogging. Pick up my glasses. It's an easy ride, Pierce. I'm just jogging. I'm gonna beat you. Okay, you waited too long. I'm gonna win. It's whoever touches the truck first. I win. Pierce. Oh, he's getting licked by a dog. I win. Guys, fun fact about these dandelions, if you're ever in a survival situation, you can just eat these. These are totally edible and they're really good for your heart. All right, mom sack right here. Let's see what you got, mom. Oh no. Uh. I missed some. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, eleven. Pierce had two, four, eight, ten, twelve. Pierce definitely cut down the most mushrooms. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. How many did you have, River? I thought he had sixteen. I thought you said nineteen. Oh, he might have said eighteen. That's kind of Remember he had double what I had. Two. So Pierce had 17? Yeah. Four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 19. I guess that's just 19. Yeah. <laughs> 20. 20. Wow, look at that. Does that not look beautiful? Mm, yummy. Freshies. Fresh, fresh, freshies. Let's take a look at these yummy, yummy shrooms now. Isn't that perfect? Look at those. This guys, River had 20, Pierce had 17, and Mom had 11. That's 37, 48. We left at least four or five or some more, so found about 50 shrooms today. Here's what we got. Here's our morels. Woo-hoo! Always just take them and cut them in half and toss them in a bowl. Yeah. All right, y'all, after they're all cut up and in the bowl, I add our secret ingredient, which is the dew. Just like our fish, we soak our mushrooms in Mountain Dew. We like this way. I don't know, it gives it a little bit more of a, a sweet flavor to it. And then we salt it. Just like you would if you were so soaking them in salt water. We'll probably let these soak for a couple of hours and then we'll batter them and fry them and eat them. We're back here with our mushrooms and I just have them draining a little bit. I'm gonna give them one more little rinse. Get all the goodies off of them. The bugs and the leaves and the dirt. All right, back with you in a bit. I'm gonna throw some of these mushrooms that we have cut up and some seasoned flour. I seasoned the flour with seasoning salt, some Tony's Creole seasoning, and some garlic powder. I'm just gonna toss them in the bag 
And then I'm gonna mix them or shake them up and then toss them in the oil and let those babies fry. All right, we just got our first batch out all golden and brown. I need to shake a little seasoning salt and a little bit of garlic powder. And they're super hot and Fierce is gonna hum, burn hum, his mouth. Hum, hum. And they're all almost ready. One more batch to go. <coughs> all right, we'll see you at the table. No. Okay, this is what our meal looks like before our plates are made yeah i'm ready we're about to feast let's go ahead and get our plates made real quick how mm. is it delish don't dip that in the gravy you're mm. about to get it in the gravy mm. river i mean i like them but they're not like my favorite better than raw ones <laughs> <laughs> well there you go guys we made happy plates we got seconds on motions we've had even more than we thought so we'll have to put them in the fridge and finish them up tomorrow, but <clears throat> they were delicious. So there is your Morel hunt, clean and cook, your Morel forage, clean and cook, however you want to say it. And um, mushroom hunt number two, we got about 50 of them. The next hunt should be way better. It only gets better and better until they're gone. So thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. As always, your likes, shares, and comments are much appreciated, and we will catch you on the next one.